Hey. Hey everybody. Everybody. That's his line. I tried to imitate it when he did it, but it didn't work out. Welcome to line. <sighs> Hello best. and welcome to Cry Plays Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Are you, you doing that shit right now? A little bit. You're doing that shit right now. Okay, I'm done. I'm, I'm sorry. I did it, but I'm not doing it now. Oh. I can do it. Alright, do it. <coughs> do I use the filter or no? Up to you. That's your that's your call, man. Fuck. Alright. Alright. <coughs> Ain't come a competition and go like, should I use this move? I don't know. Alright. I can do light or heavy. For sure everybody wants heavy. Hello and welcome to Cry Plays Amnesia, the Dark Descent Phoenix Right. We are here today to listen to how the fuck Edgeworth is bad or good. <laughs> yes! It almost sounded like a Batman episode. <laughs> Maybe. Did Edgeworth really kill the man? It's very possible, sir. I'm not really quite sure, to be honest, but we'll figure it out in the end. I used to do that at the end of my videos. Eh. Dude, yeah. I miss your videos, bruh. You gotta hit that shit up, bruh. Someday. Someday, bruh. Oh, yeah, that does kind of sound like Korra, how they introduce their episodes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I forgot about Korra's that. Korra's gone to Republic City. Mm, yes. Ah, you see, that man was actually a bad man. Oh, dear. Well, <laughs> Nelly. Well, so she learned to bend everything. Uh. <laughs> Dizzle makes a good point. All right. Ow. I just clap my hands, but I realized it kind of hurt for some reason, so I'm not going to do that again. Anyway, you want to start this shit back up? Ready. Sweet. Someone just submitted a text application of dicks. That's not a good dick. Uh, that is a pretty bad dick. Like, who's dicks use the three? are squares? They're done backwards, you use the three. Yeah. They tried. Or B. I mean, maybe they their own experience is their nuts are squares or cubes. Mm. Ugh, <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Here, I'm, I'm gonna oh. draw a dick right now. You ready? Yeah. Alright, it's coming. Alright, I'm waiting for it. I'm wait, waiting for it. There. Oh, nice! Here, I'm gonna draw... I'm gonna draw a dick that's, like, more... believable for myself. Right. Dick, dick. <laughs> it looks like a little smiley face. <laughs> Did you know I was also on Markiplier's charity stream t today? Yeah, I saw a post or something about that. Yeah. I didn't give shit. It was really just him pretending to be me. Oh, that's good. How'd you that know, go? Everyone's imitation of me when they do imitations is always like the typical, Hey, guys. He's cry. Hey. <laughs> So, <laughs> it's like what? I don't do that a lot, do I? No. Yeah. It's a like, goddamn. That's pretty exaggerated. Yeah, I think that's the idea of impersonations, though. You're supposed to exaggerate. It's kind of like right. all the Arnold Schwarzenegger impressions and all that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that's my exactly. Exactly. <laughs> there, he's not really that bad, but people exaggerate it, so it's cray cray. Yep. Yeah. Just like Dane Cook. Mm. He did get some things proper with like um, it was like uh, that's good or something like that. I don't know. He he said some things that I would have said, and I was just like, all right, I'll give you that. But then some other things, it was like, no. Are you trying to impersonate your voice? <sighs> just like the mannerisms. I'm saying, was Mark trying to do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I missed that detail apparently. Oh yeah, it was all Mark. <laughs> you player. You know what? Mm. That's unrelated to this current case. Unless Markiplier mm. is the prosecutor. Which I don't think he is. No. I mean, it, it, this is definitely a snake part, believe me. Okay. That works. Just wait, just wait till you hear the prosecutor say objection, because he gets his own objection sound. Does? Okay, this is going to be good. <sighs> is, oh, wait. What if the prosecutor... Mm-hmm. Wait, no, the prosecutor is the one who died. What? I mean, the, not the prosecutor, uh, the one. We don't know who the victim is yet. 
Oh, we don't? I don't think we do. I thought the victim was uh, Raymond or whatever. Hammond. Robert, Robert Hammond. Hammond. Yeah. Was it? The victim? Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. I must have just decided to forget and that, I guess. He was the defendant in the DL6 case, right? That's right. No, he was the, well... Prost, wasn't the he was the... He was the prosecutor. defending attorney. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. So... I have no idea who I don't think we know who the prosecutor is. Yeah, I have not a clue then. Okay. Alright. Well, if that's the case, I'm gonna hit save stages to make sure anything bad happens. I got this shit. Bam! Done. Save state. Don't load state. That's horrible. I I hated doing that in old school emulator games. That was the worst feeling. Okay. Are we ready? Also, random random mention. I hated saving state right before a part that like literally you save state too late so you're stuck <laughs> in a dying loop yeah yeah and then you're yeah. just you're fucked there's a good right. thing you can do it's the worst all right i'm good to go right. and hitting no three two one go december 26 9 44 a.m just a court defendant lobby number two what'd you get me for christmas not nah, i got you some karma that's right, Manfred von Karma. He's the best prosecutor there is. He hasn't lost a case in over 40 years. He is a god of prosecution, right? A god! Not a single case? Well, he'll do anything to get a guilty verdict, verdict anything. Hmm. Sounds like someone else I know, Edgeworth. <laughs> you don't understand. I mean, he'll really do anything. Manfred von Karma is a man to be feared. That's quite a claim coming from someone who forges evidence. He taught me what it really is to be means to prosecute. <laughs> what? Just picture a prosecutor as vicious as me, multiplied by a factor of ten. <laughs> so, he was your teacher then, Mr. Edgeworth? Something like that, more like a senpai. <laughs> and now he's trying to find you guilty? What a creep! Oh, wait. Maybe he's planning on losing on purpose to help you out. Not a chance. He hasn't lost once in 40 years. 40 years. He's as ruthless as me. Times 20 now. You said times 10 earlier. No, that's, that's just ruthlessness. Oh, okay. That's pretty ruthless. Like I said, he's a god among prosecutors. I guess that's something coming from something like me. was, wait. I guess there's something like Mia was to me. Oh, right, because Mia. I was looking at Maya for a second. Mia was the defendant before, and she's dead now. Your sensei. Yes. Speaking of Mia. Uh, uh, Maya? Uh, we could really be using Mia's help right now, don't you think? Oh. Yeah, you're useless. I, I can't. I didn't get my waterfall shower. I'm sorry. Oh. I tried, I really tried, but I can't reach. You couldn't reach? I think it's because I haven't been training. My powers are weak again. Ah, oh, fucking useless. What the fuck, Maya? Oh, bad timing. I'm really sorry. I'll try my best. Listen, just go to fucking like Lake Gorge, just go eat some fucking hot dogs, train, get better, and then come back with me instead of you, because literally. You're wasting space! You're wasting it! Waste! I sound like John oh. Tron! <laughs> you do. I hope so! Yeah! What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, 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 it's just not. Well, oh. it's. Oh, shit. Fuck! <laughs> They're all my lines, just give them all to me. <laughs> well, it's time. Let's head in. Good, good, good. December 26. 10 a.m. It's your court, courtroom number three. Oh, he's so spooky. Oh, God, I just saw him. Ugh. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Edge, Miles Edgeworth. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Oh, this guy. Okay. Okay. Um, Mr. Von Karma, is the prosecution ready? Fool. 
You seriously think that I would stand here were I not completely prepared? Right, right. Uh, my apologies. He's even got the judge scared. Very well, your opening statement, please. Decisive evidence. A decisive witness. What else could possibly be required? Ah, uh, nothing of course. You, you should be fine. The prosecution may call its first witness. What's with this guy? Is, is he royalty or something? How am I supposed to fight against this? I call the detective in charge of this case, Detective Dick Gumshoe. Okay, Gumshoe's first. Let's see how this goes. Hi, Dick. Describe the incident. Now. Uh, yes, sir. Detective Gumshoe looks nervous. Uh, please take a look at the map. Ooh. The murder happened late Christmas Eve around midnight. There was one boat in the very middle of the lake. There were two men on the boat. Now, there happened to be a woman camping here on the edge of the lake. At 12.10 a.m. she heard two pistol shots. Then the boat started to move. It went towards the boat rental shop. But it was 1215. Mm. Mm. Overhead map added to the car record. Testify to the court about your arrest. Now! But wait! Mr. Von Karma! Yes? Actually, I'm the one who's supposed to be handling these proceedings. Cheeky bastard. Wrong. There's only one thing you need to do here. You will slam down your gavel and say the word guilty. That is your role. <laughs> yes, of course, you're right. Holy you're shit, right. this guy is such a dumb. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not. God damn. All right, so really quick, though. They said 210 uh. there. 215 was when this went down. I remember because Edra said 15 minutes. Right? 1215? Oh, my God, yeah, yeah. I remember saying something 15 minutes before in 15 years. Yeah, exactly. Hmm. So that's interesting. Let's see, Manko Gumshoe to the station. Oh, wait, this is all new. Okay. Men called into the station around 30 minutes after midnight. We headed to the scene of the crime as fast as we could. That's where we found Mr. Edgeworth. Now, I didn't suspect him of anything at all, but the next morning a body was found in the lake. So we had to arrest Mr. Edgeworth. Hmm. I see. Very well. Begin your cross-examination, attorney. Now. Hmm. <laughs> That's just so, like, passive. He's scared as fuck. Yeah. Let's see. Man called into the station around 30 minutes after midnight. Uh, I'm gonna press on that. Hold it! You received a call from a man? Uh, yep. But you said there was a woman camping there. She was the one who heard the two gunshots, cha? Oh my god. Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That woman and the, and the man who called in the report are two different people, obviously. Different people? There were two witnesses. <laughs> Their testimonies were quite similar, however. 
Today I've summoned the woman who was camping. The woman who was camping? A lot of heart. I... I can't not do it now. Yeah. <laughs> What happened next, Detective? <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. I have no problem with you doing that. Yep, uh, we headed to the scene of the crime as fast as we could. Yeah, I'll press that, why not? Fuck it, just keep pressing everything. Hold it! How long was it between receiving the report and your arrival at the lake? Uh, well, I'd say it was about three minutes. That's pretty fast. Our motto for the month is, get there quick. Christ. Detective, you will refrain from casually revealing department secrets. <laughs> Damn. Don't you tell them the motto. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Do that again, and you will be able to look forward to your next salary review. So much to look forward to these days. This is no time for daydreaming. Continue. <laughs> it's so intimidating. Oh. Yes, sir. I understand why the judge is so scared, too. That's where we found Mr. Edgeworth. Fuck it, press it. Hold it! What was Mr. Edgeworth like when you saw him then? Well, from what I saw, he looked pretty relaxed. Not like a murderer at all, really. Detective, the court requires the facts, not your opinion. How many years have you been on the force? Facts only, Detective. Hard, cold. Objective facts. Y yes, sir. Man, he's got a share of objections. <laughs> God, this guy's a prick. <sighs> yes. Now, I didn't suspect anything of it at all. Press him again! Hold it! Why didn't you think he was suspicious? You should know. We have a deep trust and relationship with the prosecutors. God damn! Detective, the court isn't interested in your musings. Deep, trusting, poppycock. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard so many flippant com comments from an active detective on the force. Mm -hmm. Detective Gumshoe doesn't look so good. Continue. No. <laughs> the next morning, the body was found in the lake. Uh, hold it! Did you find any clues on the body? Uh. A single bullet was recovered up from the body. You're shot through the heart, fatally. Judge, here's the bullet. It didn't strike bone, so its shape is well preserved. Oh, very well. The court accepts the bullet into evidence. This bullet is added to the court record. I, however, recall there were two shots hurt. Oh. Maybe one missed. Maybe one's in a tree somewhere. Maybe one's one of the party poopers. <laughs> Maybe. So we had to rest Mr. Edgeworth. Hold it! Why is that? We found the murder weapon in the boat. The murder weapon? A pistol. Is that a... That was a Ruger. Yeah. Detective Gumshoe, that is a vital piece of information. Please revise your testimony. 
Right. Sorry, Your Honor. Aw, oh, yeah. Redo it, boy. The murder weapon we found in the boat was decisive evidence. Hold it, please. 